Hello and welcome to round two. We're up against James Paul IV. Yeah, this is all right. The incendiary sabotage, again, looking a little weird here. But we'll see. I, I like the two drop. I like the implement slash drake plan, depending on where we want to go. I don't like the not having red mana, but we put mountains in the deck. I'm going to have to, for those of you who don't know, I do a podcast with uh, David Seville, another streamer, uh, called Men From Moto. You can find it on manadeprived.com, and I, I think we're going to need to have a topic soon about mulligans and limited. I think your win rate in limited would increase exponentially if you only ever mulligan all lands, no lands, or one lands. I have consistently done that on stream, and over time that averages out to much better, much better game development. Like, I keep nearly every two-lander with anything, and I'm usually pretty happy about it. Remember, I said we have mountains in the deck. I'm not going to scry upkeep. Uh, we may decide we want to attack with it. Yeah, like, what am I looking for here? A removal spell? I don't know. I'm just going to attempt to curve out while they're not doing anything. We got other uses for the energy and wing scry when we need it. Yeah, I'm still in the same boat. Like, we'll draw cards and derp around later. The game ends when they have zero life. Let's make that happen as soon as possible, shall we? Hexproof Duder. All right. That one's going to be a little tougher for us to get through, um, but we can still fly over it for four this turn, and that's not insignificant. Uh, it'll also leave us the opportunity to scry here. Uh, so I think we're certainly going to play this. I don't think I want to pop it this turn. I should have used the mountain for it, so I have the option to do so, but... I wasn't thinking about it. I was thinking about Kung Pao Chicken. It's delicious, and Kelsey's on the way home with it right now. It's got peanuts in it and hot sauce, and it's really good. It's really, really good. It's so good. You should try it. Do I want an Aether Pooper? What am I doing with an Aether Pooper? Uh, like we're hitting for four. They're going to eight. The next turn I can swing for five. Oh yeah, I do want an Aether Pooper, don't I? This time I'm not gonna forget to use this. Let's go ahead and hit it now in case we draw something else we'd rather do. I can't imagine that we do, but Uh, I don't really think blowing that up does much for me. We do get to add a land drop, though, which is nice. I think I can sneak in that last point of damage if they want to swing with both of these. We will see. Make it unblockable, that'd be great. No. All right, we're taking nine.
Mwah, mwah, mwah. That's unfortunate. I had plans for that. Murray, I mean, you blocked the thing, but like, what I want is a way to get rid of that. What I want is a mountain, right? Like, if I draw a mountain, I kill that, tap down a thing, burn whatever, and they're dead. Four, five, six, seven. They're not dead, Travis. I don't know why you keep thinking that they are. We do kill them in the air in, three, in two turns, so I just have to make sure I don't die here. I still don't think Murray's what I want. Because uh, I, I think what we're doing is is casting Chandra's Revolution on this, attacking for two, and then hopefully playing like a two drop. Well, maybe not. All right, we got to put him dead. We are dead if their last card is a removal spell. Or that. Or that. Man. That's what I get for thinking about Kung Pao Chicken. Alright, let's stop thinking about chicken and start thinking about winning. Because that's just embarrassing. If I'd drawn that card earlier, that plays out a good bit differently. Alright, alright, alright. I'm kind of interested in the gate. Is that crazy? It's a little crazy. I'm a little crazy. I don't want to hold up in a gate. They got all the cards I wanted. I don't think I want the incendiary sabotage though. That seems reasonable. Like they're just playing stuff that's way too big for me to mess with with that. This will work, I guess. Like we can potentially negate an artifact. If I get a, a, an opportunity to trade this for stone anything, I will. If not, we'll just get our implements going here. Now I'm down with the treasure keeper. Can attack into that at least. His hand kind of just wants to hit lands. Let's see if we can do that. Well, we can. I think I, I like the world a lot better if that uh, Skyship Plunderer is not in it. There's a compelling argument for just casting the Peafowl, though, for mana consistency. I really do not I really do like that being dead. It's such a nice clean answer to it too. We do have the pinger in the deck, so there's an argument to to kill this instead. Like we don't know what they're trying to do with it. And again, there's a compelling argument to just play the peafowl. But whatever happens, we should attack first. If they block and try to use a combat trick, we're clearly going with that. Alright. 
I play the P-Foul, next turn I can play this and anything else. I, I think I just need to do that. We'll see if I regret it, but generally speaking, when there's a, a play and you're not sure what to do, the one that uses the most of your mana is usually the right way to go. Not always, but often. Probably means we're using Sahili's artistry here. Um, but let's attack first and see what they've got. There's a chance we negate something, and it could be a pretty big deal. I might also want to save the artistry for after they cast their big flying thing. They got nothing? Alright, well what if they have a counter spell? Because like I can play th I can play Theorist. I can burn that and hold up negate. Maybe I like that. Just burn that thing, hold up negate. Now I kind of just want to play the automaton. If they're going to get set this far behind, we'll take it. Okay, they're just looking for a target for that. Still wants to get in there. I like it. I don't know what this is that I'm countering, but I'm really excited to be doing it. Do I have them dead? Not quite. But pretty doggone close. I do if they attack. And they're thinking about it. but deciding not to. All right, Technician ain't doing a whole lot here, so if I cast the Artistry, make my own Serpent and another Treasure Keeper, and then swing with all of these, they're at three. They have to block these two, which means I'm basically trading my P-Foul for their Plunderer. Like, they can't let a two-power creature through at three, because they die. So let's do that. And then I can't think of anything that wins it for him next turn. If that cascades into another artifact, I just win. I think they noticed. So they're dead to an artifact, they're dead to me untapping, they're dead to a lot of stuff. They gotta deal 12 points of damage this turn. 
I'm not aware of anything that does that. It would appear neither are they. Sabotage looked a little better that game, didn't it? Like they're playing little dudes and stuff and things. The negate was certainly nice. I did not anticipate it being that good. And yet it was. The deadlock trap is also an interesting fix for the serpent conundrum. On the play, I might actually want the deadlock trap. Like, we've got a lot of stuff that makes energy. If I can get blockers out of the way or tap their serpent, we may be able to win with that. I don't typically want to be holding up negate when I'm going on the play. Although, the, the counter argument is there too, right? Like, you get ahead and then you use the negate to, to sustain your advantage. I think I'm going to keep the negate. I, like I said in the mulligan conversation earlier, I mulligan one lands, all lands, or no lands. So this one we send back. I think this one unfortunately has to go back too. Like I would really like at least two lands. This sadly we keep. It's relatively easy to, to envision scenarios where we draw out of this, but we're certainly not favored. Um, oddly enough, I'm going to have to send that to the bottom. We'd like it. Why was I so convinced I was on the play? Because huh. I'm thinking about chicken again. I mean, you can't be too mad. Chicken is delicious. They're scared of mine gate. I feel like they had a play there. Maybe not. I see what you did there. Don't let me lose to the Ornithopter deck, please. Trophy Mage fixes some of our problems, uh, but I think we need to tap out here. Uh, probably for the, the P-Foul, actually. It can attack through most of what's going on here. It blocks well. Sure. No attack with the Ornithopter? Seems loose. We'll do this here because we should have six mana next turn, and that lets us play the Trophy Mage, get whatever we want with it. Probably the implement of get me out of this mulligan, as well as play it. And Murray should be okay here. Like, we can forum twice, that's not insignificant, and then have a blocker. That is probably the prettiest Ornithopter. And you can see here, like, there's the person who thinks Ornithopter is good, here's the people who think it's playable, and then here's the Vidalcans who are just, like, over it. Like, no, you don't want Ornithopter, dude. You don't want Ornithopter. Well, there's one of the threes we might have gotten. I think I'm happy enough foring them here. Let's make sure I'm not forgetting what's in the deck first. Yeah, it's just to implement here. Do I want to trade a trophy mage for an automaton? I mean, want is a strong word, but they are playing some uh, implement stuff. There's no guarantee that they even attack into this. Or that if they do, that I block.
Okay. I'll bite. Do you have the little combat trick? No? You just wanted to chomp my guy? Alright. I'm playing this before the automaton because I want to make sure they don't untap and uh, play the kill an artifact, non-artifact creature. That would be pretty brutal here. Whereas this does solve our mulligan issue. Okay. Sure. Probably jamming the treasure keeper anyway, but let's let's take a look first. Sahili's artistry for my own array and another Murray is interesting. And probably pretty dang good. As well as using all my mana. It does play into their um, sacrifice thing. We could also play the automaton, but I think I'm going to go with the treasure keeper here. It makes them kind of be afraid of negate. Not that they won't do it anyway, but if, if, even if they have the card and we have to sack this, we still get something out of it. I can play out the automaton and worst case scenario, make an automaton and an ornithopter. Like this card is only going to get better the more stuff that's on the board, right? They've got it in hand, too. No? All right. Am I crazy for thinking I just want to copy my own board? Guess not. If they have it now, we sack these two. As obviously these are better against bounce. Oh, I couldn't, could I? I'd have to sacrifice the actual Murray. That's funny that I've been repping the gate and then drew it. I think that's actually really, really good. Like, if they'd just done that on their turn, they're not in this perilous predicament. And yet they did. As well play that out, we can get a scry, and I don't think there's any wrath effects in those colors. So Haley's artistry is a hell of a card. Still thinking about that Kung Pao chicken though. It's got peanuts in it. Have you ever had peanuts? They're so good. They're tasty. They are. Precious to us. Mm. 
I'll pause this so you don't have to listen to me trumpeting. Just kidding. Ah, okay. They just wanted to chat about it. It's still mostly dead, I think. It certainly is now. Just because, like, just because they complained. Let's just blow up all their stuff. Not that I wouldn't have anyway, but I, I don't think that complaining to your opponent, <laughs> okay, that's just funny, ever really does much in magic. Like, go tell your buddies. But you might say the gremlins have been released. If you're going to go for an instant on your opponent's turn and you're worried about negate, cast it during their upkeep. If they'd cast it during my upkeep, it at least would have resolved and left me with the negate in hand, and they might have been able to get back into that game. Um, or just play it on your main phase, right? Like, just because it says instant, you can play it on your own turn. That that matters a little bit here, not a, not a lot. We drew like a maniac um, kind of into exactly what we needed to win that game. Uh, but still lessons to be learned from victory as well as defeat. All right, quick break. We'll be back for one more. <laughs> 